A Mr. Speaker. Two day. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To everyone in this House and around this place, the Green Party wishes you a very warm and a very meaty. Our special thanks and warm wishes today go out to all of those, particularly who keep this place ticking, while well, so that we can do our jobs. Politicians are not the easiest people in the world to work with, so to those of you who, apparently, so to those of you who manage, who manage the chamber, who cook for us, who make our coffee, clean our office, deliver our papers, keep us safe, answer our re research questions, keep the lights going, fix the heating, keeps our computers humming, all of you, thank you so much for everything that you do for us. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. Thanks and a special Christmas wish also to our friends in the opposition, to Andrew Little and his team in particular. It's been great working with you all over this last year and I'm looking forward to more of it next year. And you too, New Zealand First. We love you too. <laughs> It's true, it's true. Don't listen to what the media says. But thinking about the media, big thanks, big thanks to the Press Gallery for a year of sharing your love. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, but in increasingly constrained circumstances. We know how hard it is to do your jobs. And a very Merry Christmas too to the government. It has been a tough year for you, fellas. What with increasing unemployment. Oh, it's true. 45,000 more children in poverty, the housing crisis, skyrocketing greenhouse gas emissions. But credit where credit is due, you have played to your strengths, National, and it's time now to recognise those strengths. So I am very pleased to announce the Green Party's inaugural end of year awards. I know, it's exciting. I have the nominations. So here we go. And we might, we may well give you presents. Yeah, let's give them presents. I'll tell you what. My, my lovely assistant, Gareth, Gareth Hughes, over here. So to, for the ExxonMobil Contribution to Oil Drilling Award, the runner-up, Labour, for refusing to rule it out. <clears throat> but the winner goes to Simon Bridges for keeping the oil industry going through support of its hair products. <laughs> Great dedication, Simon. Look as bro. He can get some chocolates. We'll give them to Jerry. The, he wears his underpants on the outside uh, Public Defender Award, sponsored by Marvel Comics, goes to Michael Woodhouse for revealing to New Zealand the grave dangers of worm farms. Michael has got our, he's got our backs. We're safe under his watch. The Land Transport Association's Award for the most creative U-turn, it turns out. So runner-up, Labour, for simultaneous U-turns on capital gains tax and superannuation. But the winner, the Green Party. That's right, the Green Party, for ruling out, then ruling in, then ruling out the booze bill. I want my gift. <laughs> thank you, I'm so proud. I want to thank my producers, mum and dad. You're awesome. The award for the most dedicated backbencher politician. This was hard fought for this one, I can tell you. Runner-up, Paul Foster Bell, for his passionate visual adoration during the Prime Minister's speeches. Puppy dog! But the winner goes to Mike Hosking for selfless support for his dear leader and the creative use of public broadcasting. Well, we're liking you. <laughs> The Lump of Coal Special Christmas Award, sponsored by Charles Dickens. Jointly awarded to John Key and Peter Dunn for voting against feeding the kids in school. <laughs> Clearly the answer to the question, please sir, can I have some more, is no, you cannot have any more. The New Zealand Men's Rights Association Award for the protection of traditional values. Runner up. John Key for having the guts to say out loud that Cabinet is dominated by middle-aged white men because he appoints on the basis of merit. Ladies, smarten up. But the winner goes to Louise Upston, the first women's affairs minister brave enough to define feminism as bad and beauty contests as good. Well done, Louise. But the chocolate prize is going to go to Putta Williams for her amazing support over the walkout over the rapist's comments. Awesome. <laughs> chocolate well deserved. The Hairstylist Association of New Zealand International Hair Ambassador of 2015 Award. Who do you think might win this? <laughs> runners up, runners up, Peter Dunn and Simon Bridges for effort. 
Good effort, guys. But the winner by a landslide, John Key, for putting New Zealand and ponytails on the world stage for all the wrong reasons. Well done, you guys. And Oh, no, not quite finally. The Foot and Mouth Award, sponsored by MPI for most regrettable statement. The winner, Judith Collins. I am confident that Circo will bring the highest standards of professionalism, safety, rehabilitation and security expected by the government to Mount Eden Prison. Well, wasn't she right? They did expect that. That's exactly what they got. But... The gift of chocolate goes to Kelvin Davis, given today's breaking news. That was a scalp worth fighting for. And the final award, sir, for tonight, the Plunkett Karatani Award for healthy development and meeting all growth milestones. And that goes to my very own co-leader, James Shaw, for, well, just being a good all-round boy. So thank you very much to all of you who nominated who made suggestions for our awards. I'm sure we're all very pleased with the winners. Mr Speaker, thank you very much for all your work, for the work of all the staff that are here, for all the Green Party uh, staff and volunteers for all of your energy over this last year. Uh, we give thanks for all of the efforts that everyone makes to making this a great democracy. Uh, and I hope that you have a very safe and very happy Christmas break. Kia ora koutou katoa. <laughs>